Okay, so I'm going to show you how I block circles on my blocking board. So this is my blocking board right here. There's a circle graph on one side, and on the other side, there's squares for when you're doing squares, granny squares, or whatever. But on the circle one, what you do is you simply take some pins. These are my blocking pins. They're like little T pins. They're rust proof because we are going to get this wet. So you want to use rust proof ones. What I do is I just take my pin and I put in the center hole and I put it in the center flower here. Of, so I know that that's right in the center. All of these are these white lines are half inch apart and there's dots in between. So that means they're quarter inch increments right here. So what you're going to do is take your pins. I don't really like to go through the yarn unless I have to, but I'm just going to go through these holes right here. And I'm going to put them on this line, this dotted line after the three. So I'm just putting in the holes opposite, finding the dotted line after the three there. I know because I started with my center, that's going to stay right there in the center. And you can just work your way around. You can go opposite from each sides. This kind of stretches, stretches it out. You don't want to stretch it too much. Um, but you want to stretch it out just a little bit so it's all nice and flat. Now, this is the size that my circle ends up being, but you may crochet a little bit tighter than I do, so you would maybe want to do yours on the three. You may do looser, so yours might, may go all the way to the four. What you want to do is just test it out. Um, if you test it out, if you're doing several circles, that you want it to be all the same size, so that you make sure that they all end up being the same size. I know I'm doing mine on the dots right after the three. And you don't have to do it right on the dots or on the line. You can always do it like in between it if it ends up going from here to here. This is too, too big and that's too small, you know, then just do an even amount underneath there. So let's see. I should have a pin in all of those. And then all I do with that, after, they're, after it's pinned in there, is I just take a spray bottle. Uh, this is a Riley Blake Mister, and this works really well. Or you can use a steamer. And all I do is I just spray it and saturate it. You don't need it to be dripping wet, but you want it to be wet enough that it's going to go through this 100% cotton. And then I just simply let it dry. I mean, I guess you could speed up the drying with a blow dryer or something if you needed to, but I always do it at night. And I just let it dry overnight. And in the morning, I just take my pins out. And of course, this hasn't dried overnight, but I just take them out and it will stay the shape of where I've blocked it to. And then you have nice, perfectly round circles. For the coasters, um, you may not want or need to block them because you're just going to be using them as coasters. You're going to be washing them over and over again. And so you don't want to have to re-block them in between, in between. But when I block is when I'm wanting things to be the same size, like I'm joining them together you know, to make a pillow or something, or this is larger and it's going to be a doily or something like that. So I just want it to be a perfect circle. So that's how I block. <laughs>